Mother Spirit. I am Great Mother, Holy Spirit, Lynn, Divine Mother, Cosmic Moon, Deep Space, the Moon, Dark Matter, the Void, the Black Hole, Atar, Isis, Diana, Mami, Ishtar, Kali, Mammy, and Mother Mary. Hello, welcome to Great Mother Speaks. I'm Tammy Taylor, your manifestation muse. And today we're talking about our deepest and truest emotional state in a day and age when addiction, pain avoidance reigns supreme. The pain of us not marrying our intentions to our actions. Well, the Scorpio new moon ain't got time for that. The new moon is the time of emotional gestation and spiritual feeling. The lunar phase indicative of the fallow season when we need to leave the field dormant so it can regenerate the rest. It is purposeful rest. The kind of purposeful rest that comes from sincere lovemaking. As indeed for but two days or so, the moon great mother energy and the sun great father God closely embrace one another in the sign of Scorpio. This happens once a year and in every new moon, great mother, father, God recommit their vows, so to speak. And their vows are basically threefold. Emotionally, the new moon and deeply on a spiritual level help us articulate our emotions in loving and sincere ways so that our unique creativity can shine through. They recommit to show us how to turn pain into gain and how to release perfectionism. You know, um, the new moon, um, this darkness of spirit before it materializes into form in Scorpio wants to take us deeply into our soul by scaling the depths of our fearful and painful emotions in order to reemerge with greater clarity, balance and confirmation of what to hold on to. From the harvest and hunter moons we've had recently to fertilize the field and what roots need to be pulled to die. This is how we are able to marry our intention with actions. Be sure to clock your moon sign with the birth chart calculator below. You may already know your western or um, tropical moon sign, and I encourage you to use the Vedic calculator to find your sidereal or joytish moon sign. That's the Vedic. If you are highly sensitive, empathic, or intuitive, you'll find that it's about 24 degrees before your western moon sign. And if you're going by the Vedic astrology, the new moon is in the final degrees of Libra and the first degrees of Scorpio signified by the nakshatra Vishaka. It means manifestation, new opportunities, sexual gratification, determination. And so that's why we uh, say new moon in the month. This is the new moon November reading as opposed to the new moon in Scorpio or Libra. This is a vibrational reading with great mother frequencies and she's speaking to us all. But of course, communication is the accurate uh, giving and receiving of information. So in order to uh, receive accurate information from Great Mother, we have to first give it to ourselves, don't we? We have to understand where we're coming from emotionally. So I encourage you to do that. Please note these readings are also for your Rahu and K2 or North and South nodes. Hi, Sagittarius Moon people. Great Mother speaks to you about your new moon in Scorpio, whether you are Western or Vedic, where it's in Pisces for you, that would be 11th house. And so 11th house, if you're uh, Vedic, uh, is um, 
in Libra, you know, and so Jupiter is in Libra in the Vedic astrology. It's also in the Western in Scorpio. So this is very expansive energy. If it is in Libra for you, well then the energy surrounding your emotional state right now of intention perhaps have to do with kind of a power to the people type of mentality. Maybe you're thinking of ways to use your gifts, talents, and abilities for the benefit of others. Um, maybe even politics. Um, there's a group dynamic because this new moon is in your 11th house. If it is Scorpio for you, Sagittarius moon people, and you are using your Western astrology, well, then of course it's in your 12th house. So it's dealing with elimination of elimination of baggage, um, issues of, of absorption. What are you absorbing in your life or isolating yourself from? Uh, that's kind of the classical, but the 12th house also deals with restoration using a period of isolation or elimination of baggage to restore uh, yourself. And so that is very much the energy of this new moon and particularly made powerful by the energy of Jupiter's expansiveness and uh, benefit to us. Of course, Jupiter will be in Scorpio and Jupiter for the next year. So this is a very powerful new moon for you. Now, the intention presently that you have intuitively, Sagittarius moon people, has to do with um, being in a place of taking your power back. You really um, become aware that some situation or relationship, a circumstance financially or a health situation has brought to your attention that it's time for you to get really clear about who you are and what you want. So as we see here in the Lilith, Lilith card, who represents in the uh, Jewish tradition, she who uh, stood over the man, okay? And so she was on top of Adam uh, in the fable of their sexual intercourse. And Scorpio is a very sexual energy because it is a deep vibrational energy. And of course, uh, sex is meant to uh, connect us energetically in ways that benefit us to higher energetic of vibrations. So we have the gut chakra here, which is the highest chakra of our instinctual survival mind. And so what in your survival mind right now, Sagittarius moon people, is being expanded with regard to your I know consciousness. Uh, that is the mantra of uh, Sagittarius is um, I seek, you know, I know uh, what I want to see. Um, I know really is uh, Aquarius, but it has Aquarius, an Aquarius element to it because the gut chakra is the third chakra here. And um, um, if we're looking in terms of houses, there's a relationship uh, to the third house here with Aquarius. And so and I know what I seek energy, that personal power, you know, and what is power? Power is directed energy, energy that has a purpose. And so whether your purpose is a power to the people on your new moon is in Libra and you're trying to uh, equalize your gifts, talents, and abilities within a social situation, or it's in the 12th house where you're really looking at how you're absorbing energy, you're eliminating or isolating yourself in ways that you can reflect on how to be more uh, energetically balanced, okay, and restoring yourself as this card shows, uh, Lilith in uh, the scene of the Wizard of Oz when Great Mother, symbolized uh, by Glinda the Good Witch, gives Dorothy the ruby red slippers. And so that is your personal power, Sagittarius Moon people. It is your birthright to health, happiness, and wholeness. And that's what those ruby red slippers symbolize, the root chakra, again, that lower chakra. And so the gut chakra being the highest from that survival being based on our birthright, that gut chakra is our confidence, it's our self-esteem. It is the directed energy that we have in the world. But as we see in this waxing gibbous moon card, we have the Wicked Witch of the West. And the Wicked Witch of the West is trying to take those shoes as we see here. Doesn't she want those shoes? 
And she doesn't know that she has that birthright. And isn't that what evil is? It is the uh, avoidance. It is uh, ignoring. It is um, um, standing on the podium of disbelief of that birthright. And so therefore, it must be taken externally instead of honored internally. So on the gibbous moon, we have here um, represented uh, in the card that um, revision, that editing, that reevaluation that we see here with the gibbous moon that comes right before the full moon. Right before the full moon, we reevaluate what it is that we want, right, before it comes to that full illumination. And so what is it that you really, really want? What is your gut telling you that you really, really need right now in terms of bringing your intent to seek what you know into action? And so seeking what you know it is that brings you health, happiness, and wholeness. Because remember when she received the shoes, she still didn't know what the shoes were. She was still going on a journey. There still was action that needed to be married with that intention. Well, Great Mother is saying the opportunity for you is, and where that opportunity lies for you, Sagittarius Moon people, is in the full moon expression of what you're seeking. Be uh, authentic about accepting what those feelings are. This is a reverberation of that gut chakra, what you are feeling is important to you okay that instinctual knowing of your survival needs of shelter of clothing of bonding with others being genuine to support yourself and support your self-esteem and your confidence how is that happening for you? Uh, because Demeter is the card when Dorothy actually asked to go home. So this is right after the Lilith card in the gut chakra suit. So right after being given the shoes and the intention that you have to live Sagittarius Moon people with your health, happiness, and wholeness, what Great Mother is saying is to seek what you truly want. And what Dorothy truly wanted was to go home. And as we see in this full moon card, accepting her feeling that she was at a place in Munchkin Land, as much as they celebrated her and they respected her for what she did to bring peace to them after this wicked witch had just haunted and taunted them for so long by take by bringing the shoes to their rightful owner to be empowered and live them and leave them in peace. Dorothy still wanted to go home to Aunt Em and Uncle Henry. Where do you want to go home to? Where is it that you know that you seek you need to be Sagittarius Moon people? Whether again, the new moon for you, my sensitive, empathic, intuitive people is in the body politic in the 11th house, sharing your gifts and talents in ways that are meaningful and useful for you, or if it is in your 12th house and you are going through a process of release in order to illuminate what your true feelings are, what is it that you know that you need to seek to go back home to peace, equilibrium, and joy within yourself in accepting your birthright to happiness, health, and wholeness. That is the transformative opportunity of action that is available to you through Demeter, who actually went to the underworld, speaking of the Scorpio new moon. Now, again, a full moon card. So this Scorpio energy is so powerful for you, Sagittarius moon people. This 12th house, this 11th house energy, this Jupiter, this expansion, this illumination coming through again with what not to overlook. In this position, Great Mother is saying, Isis, that energy of self-mothering, that is the suggested, the recommended, as Great Mother likes to say, the offered uh, energy to you. Intense self-mothering. What is it that you need in order to feel worthy of health, happiness, and wholeness? That is the action that you need to take at this time, Sagittarius Moon people, in order to reiterate for yourself what restoration means for you at this time in your life. You're being supported by the benefic energy of Jupiter that will simply expand what that is. Do you need to take more baths? 
Do you need to do self oil massages with sesame or coconut oil or whatever makes you feel loved and delicious before a nice warm bath? Do you need to cook some dishes for yourself or have a great friend spend more time with you, not by demand, but by your own choice of work-life balance issues that are really important at this particular time too as we have the root chakra here this is all heart below chakra issues and so that means that sagittarius moon people um although you are a um uh a sign that is above, you know, the the eagle line of the houses um, in the ninth house um, that has to do with, you know, our beliefs, uh, traveling, um, uh, higher learning, and all of that. What I see, Great Mother, Father, God encouraging you to seek is groundedness. And so grounding yourself in your own safety and security of knowing um, how worthy you truly are um, to express the personal power um, that you have in the world. It's very important that um, you assert that as you go through the cleansing and restorative process the Scorpio New Moon is offering you. And again, if it is with regard to connecting with people from the body politic, and being more aware of what the needs of others are, um, Vedic um, Libra Moon people, well then again, that personal power is very important, isn't it? Because people trust people who know who they are and what they want. So take advantage of this Scorpio moon offering you um, the energy, the benefic Jupiter energy to do that. And Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter, which is why I'm sure we're seeing such powerful full moon cards of I seek. And so seek on. Um, seek on and receive on everything that will bring you health, happiness and wholeness. And happy new moon and remember that the 49 scenes symbolize the bricks that help us to transcend those fears and to actually be able to emancipate ourselves from the habit of perfectionism fear of our shadows and um, our pain avoidance and the patterns that result from us uh, continuing with these unproductive patterns as a result of not reaffirming within ourselves that we are divine children of the Great Mother, Father, God. We are just here on a journey to strengthen our hearts, our minds, and our courage. For more information, please click on the playlist for who these videos are for and visit greatmotherspeaks.info for more detailed information specific to moon signs as well as north and south nodes. I am a life coach as well as the inventor of this deck. Thank you so much for watching, sharing, and subscribing. Remember, Great Mother loves you, and I do too. Great Mother Speaks. I am Great Mother, Holy Spirit, Yin, Divine Mother, Cosmic Moon, Deep space, the moon, dark matter, the void, the black hole.